Welcome, welcome to Amazing Things in Final Fantasy XIV, the show where we look at amazing things in Final Fantasy XIV. Today we are brought to Upper Lenosia, where a simple hop, skip, and a trot off the main road leads us to one of my favorite locations in the game. Let's get started, shall we? As we travel down this small winding road, you are met with various creatures such as coerls and lightning elementals. Be on your guard for these beasts may attack at any moment. However, for those of you with a wandering eye, you'll notice the floating remnants of the city of Nim are in the distance. Thankfully, the weather has been kind to us and we are greeted by blue sky. Rounding one of the corners, you are greeted by not only a dropping chasm, but the volcano that sits at Lenosia's heart. Here we take a moment to stop and enjoy the sights, including this little patch occupied by Opo Opo. Be warned though, these mischievous little creatures pack quite the punch. As we continue our walk, you'll begin to notice in the distance a patch of potential water, waterfall, and what looks to be a dock of some sort. As we walk closer, we come to this little gem of Lenosia, the Hermit's Hovel, one of my absolute favorite places in the game. If you are a ninja by trade, you might already be familiar with this place. If not, however, the aesthetics and the look of it all are breathtaking. If you seek a peaceful place to simply sit by the hot springs, commune with nature, and perhaps have a cup of tea, you'll find no better place than the hermit's hovel. The sound of birds chirping, a serene waterfall filling the hot springs, and an almighty mountain volcano in the distance. What more could one ask for? Pray, do be careful, though. Though the remnants of the dock or bridge, or whatever this may be, does house a lovely bench to enjoy the scenic view, Try not to wander too far off or you'll be faced with a perilous fall into the ravine below. Toward the back of the cabin, you'll also be greeted by an even smaller hot spring, coming with its own complimentary lantern. For those looking to take a spot of rest or perhaps a little bit of reading, you'll be pleased to know that the cabin is unlocked and furnished with all the amenities that one could possibly desire. Tons of books, tomes, lanterns, and even a desk to write on will greet you upon your entry. Ah, but that's not all. With a simple and completely normal hop upon the table, then the bookshelf, and then upward, you'll be greeted by yet another table with a telescope. You'll also find a comforting bed to rest your weary head. In closing, if you ever find yourself with free time... Come check out the Hermit's Hobble in Upper Lenosia. I guarantee you it will be worth your while. With that said, we're going to close here. But please look forward to more adventures as we check out amazing things in Final Fantasy XIV.